thanks for coming today. And uh, this is our study, Transportation is Changing, Make It Work for You. I thank you. Thank you very much for all that you have done. We really appreciate it. And it's been a great success. And we look forward to doing more great work in the future. So the study wouldn't be half as good if we haven't had such great um, involvement, not only at getting the survey out, but also in the returns we received from the survey. Um, and so it was really great. Um, uh, in my office, I fielded many a phone call uh, from people um, interested in not only the study, but how to fill out the survey. And so um, I thank you again for everything you've done so far. Um, just to remind us all why we're here, um, the project really is around building um, knowledge, right? Knowledge about our you know, transit system, but also trying to um, encourage um, users for a new um, rural system and service um, that's being proposed. And so, and why are we looking at this? Well, we're looking at it because really, you know, change can be challenging for us all, right? Um, what's being proposed is a change from the existing bus service, which is uh, a deviated fixed route, um, to a, a paratransit service. Um, so instead of the bus making that deviation, the bus, buses would be fixed on the route, and then the paratransit, which would operate uh, complementary, um, it would run on with inside the same service territory as the bus on the same hours, but it would run with a van or a car depending on the needs of the rider. And the buses would then run and operate on the fixed routes. Um, and so, and there's some benefits, pros and cons to, to this operation. But we really wanted to get out and talk about this change, um, you know, with the older adults and uh, people with disabilities um, that would be able to utilize uh, the service or may already use the deviation and then need to understand that there is a new service that they would need to um, sign up for and qualify for. Um, our team has been made up. Uh, we've got a number of team members here at the table today. Um, we have partners uh, Dale and uh, Rebecca, um, um, Lawrence and Lee. Lee was at the meeting yesterday. Um, Lawrence has been out of, t out of, out of country. <laughs> <I would say. laughs> um, myself at the Regional Planning Commission, Council on Aging, Vermont Center for Independent Living. Um, and then some folks that are helping us with the implementation, which is Green Mountain Transit as well as the Agency of Transportation. You know, we're at Green Mountain Transit, they're the bus uh, operator. Um, so they would be operating the service and agency of transportation, they really come to the table with the money, right, about, you know, to help fund this route and to help fund the service. And so how have we reached out? You know, we've done a lot of reaching out. We've had community meetings, you know, we've been, you know, working, you know, with small groups. We provided, you know, a 700s mailing of a, for surveys out. You know, we produced a 13-minute video and we had news articles, but really this is what our engagements look like, right? And so, you know, we had some, you know, we had an article in The Bridge. Um, we were on Orca Media um, talking about the study. Um, we had, we produced our own 13-minute video um, about not only, you know, the services that Green Mountain Transit offers right now and how it benefits um, older adults and people with disabilities, but also how it's important to stay and to be informed, um, you know, inform us about your preferences. And, you know, and then through the survey, and, you know, we've met with Association for the Blind, Visually Impaired, um, Montpelier Senior Center, um, the Barry, uh, North Barry Manor, you know, so we've been out a lot um, trying to engage directly um, with the people that would use the service. And so um, the result of our outreach is, is, is this, this. We've actually almost reached 600 people. Uh, with, you know, and this is the numbers that we can record um, for sure, that these are the people that have either seen or we've talked to or have generated a survey um, for us. And so you know, I think that type of outreach has been really great. Um, our goal had been to make sure that we talked with it, you know, and got input from at least a hundred uh, people through our survey that was either an older adult or a person with disability. And we've gotten 269 surveys back, um, 
where at least 150 of them have um, said I'm an older adult or a person with a disability. And so, so that's great. So you know, it, it definitely shows that we've reached the right population, that we've engaged the right way. This is Peter from the Vermont Center for Independent Living. I was involved in the Transit Planning for All grant. Had a great grant, great success. Appreciate everybody who filled out our surveys. We got a lot of more of those back than we anticipated, so we really appreciate everybody's input. And if you put on the back of that that you wanted uh, to get some information, some results, you will be getting that. We'll be sending that out. Um, and a quick summary, um, and then there's still lots of time to get involved. Uh, we had a great process. Uh, we discovered that even though we started looking at the paratransit coming into the Mont Barry Montpelier area, uh, we also realized that there was lots of stuff we can still improve with the regular transit process. And so uh, there's still plenty of time for people to participate and get involved <coughs> in that. Uh, we'd love to have people uh, be involved in that. Uh, we're going to be doing things around education for uh, people who ride the bus, education for drivers so there's a better experience for everybody, uh, helping with public officials as well. So we're really looking forward to continuing our work um, and uh, getting as many people in, as involved as possible. So uh, for myself personally, as a bus rider, uh, from the Vermont Center for Independent Living, uh, and everybody who participated, we really appreciate it, and it's been a great success, and we look forward to doing more great work in the future. Hi, my name is Lauren Seiler. I'm an advocate for people with special needs, and I host and produce a television program here in Montpelier, Vermont, uh, dealing with people with special needs called Able Then On Air. It's extremely important as an advocate that I tell you that it's extremely important um, and I'm thanking you for participating in this um, phase one of this transit grant with the Regional Planning Commission and that we move on to phase two because we need, we people with special needs need appropriate transit for us and the Vermont public. So I thank you. See you next time. I thank you for participating. Hi, my name is Dale Hacker. I'm from Barrie, Vermont, and I've been participating in the Inclusive Planning Grant. And we are finishing up our first round as to or the first round of grant and looking for a second round. But we want to let you know that the first round has been a great success. You have participated, and we are forever thankful that and very happy to see that you have been willing to participate. You filled out the surveys, you sent them back, you gave us your feedback, we heard your voices, which means other people are gonna hear your voices too. And they are listening, they are hearing what you have to say. So here's exciting news. We want to go forward with this and keep the momentum going, which means we want you to continue to participate. So this is a shout out to all of you that if you hear anything about public transit, please continue to participate. Keep that voice strong and let it be heard because they are listening. And thank you very much for all that you have done and hoping to hear from you again and your continued participation. Thanks.